The impact of direct energy on modern day warfare could be very dramatic. It's a very disruptive technology. And so the country that is able to develop and field these capabilities first will have a distinct advantage on the battlefield. Imagine if you're the commander of a U.S. Navy ship in international waters, and you're being taunted by swarms of boats that are coming at you to try to get you to escalate the conflict. Imagine again, if you could flip a switch and stop those boats in their tracks without them being able to come any closer, with nobody getting hurt. That type of scenario is where directed energy could be a game changer. Direct energy is the use of electromagnetic energy, such as high energy lasers, high powered microwave devices, and laser SATCOM communication terminals. Direct energy has two primary applications. The first one is a very, very high intensity beam of light that has the ability to identify a target at a very, very long distance, or if necessary, to destroy that target at a very long distance. Another application of directed energy is a very highly high intense beam of radio frequency energy that can be applied to a target to disable that target, to either disrupt the electronics or to cause damage in other fashion. So today, if you look at almost every program in the department, whether you're talking about ground-based lasers or vehicle-based lasers or potentially airborne lasers, they are limited not by the technology advances, but by the funding that's been allowed okay, development in, in warfighting when in fact it goes all the way back to Archimedes' time. It's reported that Archimedes used mirrors to direct the rays from the sun at approaching enemy ships to try to set their sails on fire.